I'm going to make one of my favorite Chinese dishes. Smashed cucumbers. This is the second time I'm filming this. Because the first time I accidentally said a bad word. Can't have that. So, gathering ingredients. These garlic look sad. So, new garlic. Do you have like fresh, fresh garlic? We do. So, step one is actually going to be do cute step, step with the cucumbers. Um, these cucumbers are protected to within an inch of their lives. Uh, it's not enough to put each cucumber in plastic wrap, but the group of three of them had to also be in plastic wrap. Because that's how it goes. Get a cutting board. Take off the sticker too, don't forget that. You know what actually, I have to cut off the end. What if I did that? Maybe then this will come off easier. them. Use cold water. And why not? Very good. Then cut little strips off of them. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing really ever does. That helps you with your life. Okay. Getting there. It's taking longer than I want it to. Come on, hurry up, Maria. Take your time, you're not in a hurry. Great, set aside. Peels, set aside. Pick it up off the floor. Trash, well, compost, obviously. Faster this way. We tried something new and didn't like it. That's okay. Why are we doing this? Because the recipe suggested that we do it so that the seasoning could go in more. Then we're going to cut the cu cucumber down its length. Off the little tips that we're not going to eat. Then get a spoon. Or not. You don't have to do this. If you feel like it, then do it. If you feel like, I don't want to do this, don't do it. Scrape out the seeds a little. Just a little. That'd be nice. With this cucumber, because it has small seeds, you don't have to. On standard cucumbers, the variety Burpee, I think they're called. I would recommend doing this. But on 
hot house or English cucumbers. I think you can skip it. I'm like little Persian cucumbers. You can skip it. But whatever, it's gonna make it look nice. This end kind of looks funky, so I'm cutting that off. Get rid of all this. Now, fun part, we're gonna smash them. I tried using my knife to smash them and I didn't like how that turned out. What worked really well for me was my rolling pin. You're not beating them to within an inch of their life. Then if you want them all fancy like, who doesn't, cut them on the diagonal. very excited about this dish because cucumbers are basically free nutritionally they're just zero calorie it's not true but I think a cucumber a cup of cucumber is 16 calories so eat a lot go for it now we're going to put this in a bowl This works. Pretty good. We only lost one piece to the floor. Then we're going to put some salt on them. The recipe calls for two thirds teaspoon. So Now we're going to stir this around. So you're coating them with salt. And then these are going to sit aside for five minutes because that salt is going to draw water out of these. And we're going to get rid of that extra water. May as well time it. Um, okay. Then it calls for two big cloves of garlic. I'm going to do three because I like garlic. I might even do four. And what I'm going to do is Cut off the root end of the garlic and peel it. Very, very excited about this. Um, maybe I should do more garlic. Let's just do this. It's okay. Get rid of this. Then I'm going to give them a little bit of a smash. I 
rinse my knife. Then they go in the mortar and pestle. And I don't think we need this cutting board anymore. Mortar and pestle. Why did I smash them first? Because when I did this yesterday, without smashing them first, they just kept like bouncing up out and this is gonna be noisy. I maybe can help a little by putting it on a thing, so. We're trying to make garlic paste. So my mortar and pestle is actually a bit big for this. It's easier to make a paste when it's all crowded in here. And it's not very crowded. just used my garlic press and I may get a smaller mortar and pestle eventually actually working pretty well but my garlic was starting to sprout and the sprouts don't want to break down so that's interesting to note and you know what I kind of want to do I have an idea what if I chop it up and then smash it I think that'll be a good thing. Let's do that. I like this plan better. I have to use the knife and cutting board anyway. So, my personal recipe is going to call for this. You don't have a mortar and pestle, just use a garlic smusher, a garlic press. Also, you could just consider getting a mortar and pestle, a smaller one. They're lovely to have for grinding spices. So I'm gonna pull out the green bits of this garlic. Ooh, that's a cucumber saying they've sat long enough. It's okay for them to sit longer though, so I'm not gonna worry about it. And ideally, I wouldn't have had such a hard time with this. So the garlic would have been done at the same time. garlic really does not want to comply.
Again, that's partly because this isn't small enough. and we want to eat cucumbers so I'll be honest five minutes isn't that long for this we'll let it sit a little longer and mash our garlic some more after all this is like a five minute dish and so far it's taken me 15 it would have taken me less time to make a grilled cheese edit this and then you guys can think it was like a two minute video took me at least two minutes to unwrap those freaking cucumbers huh I just held them in the bowl with my hand. Then we put the garlic in. You could use a spoon or something so your hand doesn't reek of garlic all day. But I live alone, so it doesn't matter if I reek of garlic all day. that won't be a problem anymore. Or maybe I say one day that will be a problem because one day I won't live alone. All right. Here's this. Very good. Now we need measuring spoons that are all dirty because I used them yesterday to make this. Who thinks I should have hand washed them? Me. I do. We're going to just use this mini little measure. So I want a tablespoon of vinegar. This is Chen King Chinese black vinegar, A++. Let's see, do we have a half teaspoon? We do, look, I have a half teaspoon right here and I need that one. We need a half teaspoon of sugar. sprinkling. Then we need a half teaspoon of soy sauce, regular. And a teaspoon of sesame oil.
and chili oil. So the deal is I made my own chili oil and it's too hot to use as much as she says. So we're gonna do our own thing here. We're gonna do a half teaspoon. That's a lot. I'm gonna dump this whole damn thing there. Okay. So that was vinegar, chili oil, soy sauce, and sesame oil. And now, because I like fun looking chilies in there, so I keep meaning to not put the sugar. If I didn't put the sugar, I could put more of this Laugana Spicy Chili Crisp because this has sugar in it. So, I'm gonna like stir this around a little. And it's not, it's not that hot. I mean, if you don't like spicy things, it's hot. But it's less spicy than my chili oil, despite appearances. And then I think I'm also gonna add some of these pickled chilies. Cause why not? That's what I have to say. Because why not? Because it might not be good. Well, that's a valid reason. Let's scrape that off a little. And that right in the bowl. Put that in there. How much did I put? Eh. Teaspoon. The best thing about that Lao Ganma is that it has... MSG in it. So it tastes amazing. Now we stir it up, little darling. Be thorough, be steadfast. The way back comes but once. I think I just found some big glob of garlic waiting, hiding, looking an awful lot like just a chunk of seeds. We know better. And that's it. So you see, if I didn't faff about, this would have been like a five minute dish. We'll try it. Mmm. Good news. It's delicious. Get you in there.